Hey guys, Bolt Shooter, Bolt here with SP Studios. So basically from what I understand, and that's the key word is understand, is we're, we're in the long, we're in the, we're almost done. We're almost done with what I'm trying to say. We're almost done with this. So you have to go to, I think it's basement floor. It's locked. It's locked. What? I have to do this over again? Right. So it wants this one more time. Please don't tell me I have to do this puzzle. This is the annoying one. Cool, I can just go in, okay. Uh, not what I wanted. I did that one, cool. Got that. Got that. So this is where those symbols for these are. So blue means honor, which is this one, I believe. Green means loyalty, and red means courage. Now use this. The diamond. The diamond. Whoa. Will you look at that sparkly rock? And me without my sunglasses. Hi, Lisa. How did you get in here? I followed you, of course. Turns out a nosy goody-two-shoes detective is good to have around after all. 
Now, why don't you toss me that big honking diamond so I can blow this popsicle stand and never set foot in Lamo, Wisconsin again? Lisa, you must be kidding me. This diamond belongs in a museum in France. <laughs> yeah? Well, I belong in the lap of luxury, and that diamond's gonna get me there. Hasn't anybody ever told you to mind your own business? All right, go ahead, take it. Oh, many times. Well, maybe this time you'll learn. Go, just take it. Why? I... Why? Just, just let her take it. You already know My what you're supposed to do. My spicy devil villain venom won't last for long, but I'm afraid by the time you get your eyes back, you'll have missed my grand exit. <coughs> so you're the one who trapped me in the elevator. Ooh, you are smarty pants. But let's not forget about your little frostbite incident. I'm the rotten friend who locked you outside too, you know. Just trying to keep you on your toes, Nancy. Didn't want you to get soft on your vacation. Are you the one who caught me on the head in the locker room? Ouch. <laughs> I bet that hurt. But I had to get the medallion somehow, didn't I? I hope we can still be friends. Why did you leave Jacques medallion at Hotchkiss's room? <coughs> and Hotchkiss's medallion out in the shed. To spread suspicion around, of course. You know, to play with your mind. Plus, I was at a dead end. I got the two messages from the stained glass window, but then what? I knew you would figure it out, so I decided to put the medallions in your hands and let you lead the way. Why are you doing this? <coughs> Haven't you heard? It's a material world, sister, and I am a material girl. <coughs> Photojournalism pays peanuts, you know, and who wants to work for a living anyway? I was made for a tropical climate, lounge chairs and cabana boys. Why did you have to vandalize that beautiful library? Just a little translation mix-up. When I read the message from Hotchkiss's medallion, I thought it meant Diamond of Misery in the library. Whoops. <laughs> Guess I went a little overboard looking for it in there. Anyway, enough with the questions, Nancy. You'll just have to read the rest in the papers. Cool. I gotta stop her. Drew, you're the worst friend a diamond thief could ever have. It's fun that you already you're named right. yourself. <laughs> I almost became friends with a diamond thief. Everyone at Wickford Castle is resting easier now that Marie Antoinette's journal and her famous diamond are safe and sound. The journal, the diamond, and the medallions are all going to be featured in a new Marie Antoinette exhibit in Paris. And it looks like everyone will be rewarded. <laughs> Except Lisa, of course. First, she missed her plane to Rio. And now she's going to be charged with attempted grand theft. Professor Hodgkiss is thrilled because the French government has granted her permission to publish Marie's journal in the U.S. before it gets returned to France. This ought to help prove her theory about Marie's character once and for all. Thanks to Jacques and his great-grandfather's efforts to find the journal, the Brunet name is being celebrated all over France. In the meantime, Jacques and Isabel have eloped. It's so romantic. I showed Dex to the poem that Ezra Wickford wrote in, and he was relieved to know that his old pop didn't carry any hard feelings to his grave. All the talk shows want Dexter to tell his story on national television, but he keeps turning them down. I guess he doesn't want to be famous or infamous. But when Christy Lane called and asked Dexter to be her business partner, he accepted. With her business sense and Dexter's expert knowledge of the castle, I think they'll make a great team. So, you know what they say, Dad. Il n'est jamais trop tard de changer l'histoire. It's never too late to change history. Me, I'm determined to go out and enjoy this snow before some other case comes up. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Hell yeah. All right. And that's it for this this game outing. We are done with uh, the third case. Um, so before I leave, let me put this into the right size so I don't screw up in the evil within next time I play it. Heaven knows I will. Whoop.
Oh, that's scrappy at best. There we go. Zoop. And then I will show my camera. Whoop, whoop. So, of course, we'll be doing... Let's see, this week we had the summary of Amanda the Adventure. Next week we'll be doing the uh, summary of this game. And we'll start up the next Nancy Drew mystery. Which... Da, 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 da. Nancy Drew. We did Secrets and Kill. We did Message in a Haunted Mansion. Uh, no, that's Secrets and Kill. I kind of screwed up on clicking that one. It's either the Secret of the Scarlet Hand or the final scene. I believe it's the final scene. I believe this is mystery number five. Um... So the final scene is next. So I'll see you guys then. So anyways, I'll see you guys with um, the summary next week. And I'll see you guys for final scene or secret of the scarlet hand. Probably the final scene. But anyways, bye-bye.